next we have we have discussed about the soil microbes bacteria and fungi so how this bacteria and fungi which helps or how this microbes or the different groups of this bacteria and fungi will help in maintaining soil fertility and we have to look we have gone to the examples of that and next we are discussing about rdna technology that can be used with the help of this bacteria for the better growth and for the better development of the agriculture crops we have using the rdna technology so genetic manipulation for nitrogen fixation so some plants which or oh, the nitrogen fixation which is carried out by the symbiotic relationship between the bacteria and the legumes of the root plants and some plants which doesn't have the ability for nitrogen fixation so for that we can use genetic manipulation for nitrogen fixation so the nitrogen fixing bacteria that are closely associated with the world's food supply are among the favored organisms for genetic manipulation so the nitrogen fixing bacteria so the nitrogen fixing bacteria nitrogen fixing bacteria that are closely associated with the world's food supply are among the favored organisms for genetic manipulation so the nitrogen fixing bacteria so this nitrogen fixing bacteria which having the nif genes and by using that among uh, favored organisms for genetic ma manipulation so this nitrogen fixing bacteria have having the nif genes and this nif genes which helps in fixing the nitrogen fixation so we will discuss uh, all this in detail the fix nitrogen fixation process while we have uh, studying the nitrogen fixation as if now just understood that nitrogen fixing bacteria which having the nif genes and this nif genes which have the capability of nitrogen fixation and this nitrogen fixing bacteria which are closely associated with the world's food supply are among the favored organisms for genetic manipulations so uh, genetic manipulations which are carried out on this nitrogen fixing bacteria so genetic manipulations which are carried out on this nitrogen fixing bacteria so this genetic manipulation which helps in the agriculture sector and how this genetic manipulation which is take this gene alteration in rhizobium species to improve nitrogen fixing efficiency and bacteria host plant interaction so gene alterations should be gene alterations so gene alterations the gene alteration in rhizobium species so the rhizobium gene alteration in rhizobium species improve nitrogen fixing efficiency so gene alteration in rhizobium species will improve the nitrogen fixing efficiency will improve the nitrogen fixing efficiency and bacteria host plant interaction and the bacteria and the host plant interaction will improve while genetic alterations in rhizobium is carried out and genetic engineering of rhizobium species so that it can form a symbiotic relation with non leguminous plants such as wheat rice and corn so this uh, bacteria rhizobium which having a symbiotic association with the leguminous plants so there are non leguminous plants also uh, non leguminous plants are there such as wheat rice and corn and this right uh, wheat rice and corn which have a large production on wheat rice and corn are there and these are the non leguminous plants and this non leguminous plants which doesn't have the ability to fix nitrogen so by alterating all by the gene alteration in rhizobium species it can form a symbiotic relationship between if gene alterations is taking place in rhizobium species it can form a symbiotic relationship with non leguminous plants such as 
wheat, rice and corn. So the gene alterations in rhizobian species. Rhizobian species form a symbiotic. So the gene alteration takes place in rhizobian species. It form a symbiotic relationship. This gene alteration which have taken place on this rhizobian species and it form a symbiotic. It will form a symbiotic symbiotic relationship it form a symbiotic relationship with non leguminous plants non leguminous plants as wheat rice and corn so wheat rice and corn which are non leguminous plants and if the gene alteration will take place in rhizobian species it form it can it form a symbiotic relationship between non leguminous plants such as wheat rice and corn so if the transfer of genes for nitrogen fixation from rhizobium bacteria rhizobium species to other bacteria such as agrobacterium tumefaciens so agrobacterium tumefaciens So agrobacterium tumefaciens. So transfer of genes for nitrogen fixing from rhizobium species. So this rhizobium species, which have the ability to fix nitrogen. So NIF genes are there. This having the NIF genes. The NIF genes which have the capability to fix nitrogen. so transfer of this genes for nitrogen fixation so this rhizobium bacteria which having the nitrogen fixing genes or the nif genes is there this nif genes which are transferred to other bacteria such as agrobacterium tumefaciens so this agrobacterium tumefaciens which can be used as a vector so this nif genes is isolated from this rhizobium species and it is integrated into other bacteria so this rhizobium species which having the nitrogen fixing capability and from that rhizobium species the nif genes or the nitrogen fixing genes which are isolated from this rhizobium species and it is integrated and this nif genes which is integrated onto other bacteria agrobacterium tumefaciens then it's developed agrobacteria can infect several important crops example tomato tobacco tunia and fix nitrogen so this agrobacterium tumefaciens which can infect so this agrobacterium tumefaciens which can infect tomato tobacco so this agrobacterium tumefaciens which can infect tomato and tobacco and while this agrobacterium tumefaciens which infect on tobacco this agrobacterium inside this agrobacterium they having the nif genes so this nif genes which have the capability to fix nitrogen so this tomato and tobacco which are non leguminous plants and by the application of this nif genes into agrobacterium and this agrobacterium is then transferred to the tomato and tobacco which are the non leguminous plants and this non legumin uh, non leguminous plants which are capable of fixing nitrogen so this by this the nitrogen fixation which can be carried out by using rdna technology the nitrogen fixation which can be carried out on other non leguminous plants and uh, those non leguminous plants which gain the nitrogen fixing capability by using rdna technology